Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to discuss static versus dynamic web pages. Now when we say static web pages, we're talking about whenever the server sends the exact same information for every request. Every single person or every single time you go to that web page, it will send the same information. Dynamic web pages will, is when the server will send back different information for every request, usually based on the request itself. To give you an example of a static page is pretty much everything we've done thus far in the class. For example, the, the color game on, in your to-do list and all the, that different stuff, even though the, the content on those pages might be different, like every time in the color game we loaded it, we got different colors, the, the CSS and JavaScript and HTML that was sent back is always the same every single time. Every single time we visited that page, we got the same information from the server, even though those colors were randomized. A dynamic page is whenever the server will take a request that you send to them, get some information from it, or maybe from an API or, or from something else, from a database, and then build you content that is specific to you. For example, whenever you go to YouTube, the videos that show are different every time. The same is true for Reddit posts. I, I use Reddit as an example because it's got a lot of stuff that you can do with it, but Reddit is a great example. The posts are different every time you go there because they're dynamic. They're being built dynamically by checking a database to get information from that database. Also, these will show different information based on if you're logged in or not. If you log into YouTube, it will personalize those videos for you. It will show a different thing in the top showing um, like log in, log out type stuff. And if you're not logged in, it'll show you just kind of the basic general videos for everyone, which in my experience is a lot of stupid um, reality TV shows and unboxing videos. Lord knows why people like those things. All of the logic for constructing these dynamic pages is done on the back end before the response is sent to the user. So the, the server gets the request, it builds the page based on whatever information it has, and then it sends that page back to you. And then your browser gets it and renders it like normal. And that's pretty much the difference. That's the main thing. From here on out, we're going to start building dynamic pages because dynamic pages are where you can really start to do cool stuff. Static pages, you can, you can make some fun stuff, but dynamic pages are where it's at. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.